Hi Pisces. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles here, you see the finely dressed man. He's kind of doling out the coins to one of the beggars. In his other hand, he's holding the scales. And they are in balance. And so this is always an interesting card because there's a duality. There are two perspectives in this card. One is that there will be times in your life when you will need to ask for help, when things will be tough or challenging and you will need support in some form or fashion. And so don't feel uh, that you can't ask for help. Make sure that you can and that you do because otherwise things can get tough and can get grim. So, uh, when you need help, reach out, friends, family, local community organizations, whoever it may be, is to speak and to say what you need, and it may be tough. So that's one side of what we see. The other side is that when you are in a position to help, to be of service, to provide support to others, either financially or through time or through caring and consideration and physical help as if to get it take a senior to a doctor's appointment you know then do so and do so from a good place in your heart because that is being of true service and uh, you never know when when the tide can turn and when the roles might reverse and so when you are in a position to give, and particularly this week, if you have a opportunity to help someone, to pick up the phone, to call them, what can I do to help you? I haven't heard from you in a while. How are things going? Or that you are, you know, helping out at a food bank, whatever it may be. There are times when we are in a wonderful position to be able to help others and to give of ourselves. And there will also be times at some point in within our life when we will need help. So this is a, it's a lovely and gentle reminder, which is the balance. It's the balance of the giving and understanding that you may need the receiving end as well. So to give and to be of service in a balanced fashion. So our next card is the Hanged Man, Major Arcana. So we see the Hanged Man here hanging from the branch, upside down, hands tied, foot is tied, and you know, uh, this Hanged Man is not going anywhere. He's certainly not going anywhere without the help of someone cutting him down unless he's uh, very wiggly and is able to um, release himself, but unlikely. So what does this tell us? It tells us that sometimes when we're in a position that we can't do anything about a certain situation, that maybe we just need to hang out with it. We need to uh, pause. We need to just kind of collect our thinking and not do anything. You can see the glowing halo around his head here and it's enlightenment when you are kind of uh, in this position you have a, have a lot of time to think about things you have a lot of time to take that pause to take that um, step to really stop and to think when we are turned upside down we see things in a different way and this card's about perspective so this week, you may need to take a break from something that has maybe been on your mind or that you're dealing with. You just maybe need to suspend your own thinking. You need to suspend your own actions and just kind of stop, listen, reflect, contemplate. That brings enlightenment. And... Uh, often we may say that with the hangman there's a sense of sacrifice. You may feel for some of you 
that you are having to kind of put some of your dreams or perhaps your, your goals this week on hold to support someone else or you're, you know, maybe you're sacrificing a little bit of yourself this week. But the hanged man is, it is the pause, it's suspension, it's what you see, and it's finding peace in that suspension because that uh, acceptance is going to allow you to see things differently. It's going to allow you to perhaps gain a new approach or this, again, additional awareness for yourself. It is self enlightenment. Ultimately, you'll be able to come down out of this position and then you're going to have so much more behind the scenes in how you evaluate how you think about things and how you approach going forward. Move those over here. Interesting. Another six cards, six of pentacles, uh, the 12th card of the hangman, and now the six of cups. Love the six of cups. Love seeing the children here, the innocence and the kindness that's represented within this illustration really that's what it's all about and if you look behind this picture look at the state of the home it's not a gleaming tower like the other illustrations in in tarot this house is a maybe a, a bit of repair is needed but here nevertheless is this relationship of giving, of thoughtfulness, of kindness, of consideration, coming from a pure place of thoughtfulness, of generosity, as children do, which is just from the good of their heart, wanting to give you something or wanting to give another child something. So what does that tell us? It tells us to try to be kind and considerate and gentle and thoughtful. And again, the generosity here of helping others, of thinking of others. This is a week to think of others. You may be having to put your own plans on hold as you are helping others. With the Six of Cups, we may also think about times that happened before, nostalgia, memories. We can find comfort in memories. We can find joy in reminiscing and, you know, going back to the days, I remember when we did this, you know, it, it puts a smile on your face. You may be laughing, you know, it's a good feeling. The one thing to think about though, is not to live in the past not to be stuck that, gee, it was so great when I did this, this, this. You have to live in the present. You have to acknowledge and keep near and dear to you the sights, the smells, the, the senses, everything about what came before. On a literal level, for some of you, maybe you're connecting by telephone or having lunch with an old friend, an old colleague, someone you haven't seen from your family. Um, you know, again, the opportunity to connect, but at the very heart of this reading this week, it's about gentleness, being of service and being supportive and kind, loving energy here, loving despite the circumstances. Here's the predominant, uh, picture that we see, which is a child giving another child flowers. It's this. Um, thoughtfulness, the sweetness that we have and to be sweet, to be kind, to be supportive. It's a beautiful spread for the week. Interesting with the two sixes, you know, sixes are about social consciousness. It's about finding peace and demonstrating compassion. So let's choose an Oracle card for an affirmation for the week, a focus for the week. Mm -hmm. 
The Dragon's Duel, Inner Conflict, Morality, Conscious Choice. So interesting. So if things have been percolating for you, if you feel this inner conflict, if you feel um, that you really have to think about your choices, perhaps this hanged man is going to help. It's going to help enlighten you. It's going to help bring you some information to bring you some answers, maybe to bring you some clarity. The dragon's duel, you know, how often do we have to really work things out by ourselves and taking time to suspend perhaps from a, from a decision or from a path that you're walking on, maybe taking a step back is going to help you gain the clarity that you need. So friends, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe, check out my other videos, and I'll see you again next week.